Well, we all knew it was just a matter of time until this happened. Originally started back in Chapter 1, the story of the Elemental Kings ended abruptly at the conclusion of the chapter with no real explanation offered as to who they were or what they were doing, and as such, they disappeared from the island without a trace. We've had theories about the return of the Elemental Kings for quite some time, but thanks to the comics, we now know that the Ice King story runs about 10 times deeper than we actually thought. From our initial perspective, we knew that the Ice King was an ancient ruler, we knew that he had a prisoner locked away in his dungeon, and we eventually realized inside of his iceberg there was a massive beast which turned out to be the Devourer. The Ice King even had a live event dedicated to just him in which he covered the island in snow and ice. To this day, this has still got to be the worst live event of all time, not to mention it was only like a minute long, so yeah. We have just gotten a new leak from the Marvel slash Fortnite Zero War comic that, in my opinion, could very easily lay out what to expect in the near future as far as Fortnite's storyline goes. Needless to say, big spoilers ahead. The scene starts in the Ice King's lair with Jones, the Imagined, and several others before the Icy Throne. Greetings visitors and felicitations. To reach my throne room alive is an achievement indeed. No doubt you must have questions and you have earned answers, the Ice King exclaims. He continues saying, I once had another name, but the Ice King is how I am known and it serves well enough. Uncounted ages ago, brave allies and I began collecting items of power, things, and beings too dangerous to exist. The throne's visitors stand in utter shock. My worst fears were realized when my staunchest comrade argued for using these items to alter realities to our liking. I was forced to freeze him, my other knights, and all we've acquired within our fortresses, the Ice King regretfully admits. Taking a moment to reflect, he then continues saying, I brought my Ice Moon here, to a reality I believed isolated and safe. Wary, I turned the ice upon myself to sleep at last forever. But in a cosmic storm, a piece of the moon containing the castle in which I dwelled was sheared off. Fragment struck the island below. As the ice melted, I awoke and perceived the danger. From my dungeon, the prisoner, my old enemy, had escaped. I battled him, attempting to stop him from unleashing yet worse dangers. I failed. So, to recap, the Ice King once had a thriving castle and once worked alongside the Fire King in peace. The Ice King even decided to relocate his Ice Moon to the Fortnite reality, where it was perceived as safe. When the Fire King decided he wanted to take their dangerous collection of artifacts and beings and use it to manipulate the reality around them, he got scared and ultimately had to freeze not only the Fire King, who now had become the prisoner, but also the entirety of his castle and loyal knights in an effort to preserve reality. At this point, the Ice King froze himself for an eternal slumber. Then, in a freak storm, his castle and everything in it broke off from the Ice Moon and fell to the island and we know the rest of the story from there for the most part. It's super interesting to me that the ice castle and the iceberg contained things that were too dangerous to exist, but on purpose, almost like the Ice King was just begging for something or someone to one day knock these things loose and set them across the island. The biggest example of that is, of course, the Devourer, which still has impacts on this game to this day. What was the Ice King's motivation here? Was he trying to prevent them from falling into the wrong hands? Did he trust the prisoner? If so, Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I'm also curious about the origination of the cosmic storm on the Ice Moon that forced the island and fragments to fall onto the island. Well, technically, they fell into the water and then drifted to the island, but close enough. By the way, this is a petition to bring back approaching items and POIs for events like the Meteor, the Iceberg, and Galactus. Good times. Is there any chance an outside force or third party might have been behind the storm, knowing the fate that would await the inhabitants of the island 
should the Ice King's castle unattach from the moon. It seems like certain people would definitely have a lot to gain by doing so. It seems like our hot streak of discovering new elements of the Fortnite lore has continued, and with more and more comics releasing, and hopefully big storyline updates and leaks as we progress towards the end of Chapter 3 Season 3, I am optimistic about what's to come our way. All of this new information opens many new doors for ways of thinking and theories. Make sure to leave your theories down below for a chance to be featured in the next video. Also, make sure to like and subscribe if you're new and turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss an upload. <laughs>